I think, believe it or not, New York State has a good education system. At least that's what I've heard. I mean, it didn't work for me. Today, just like every day, it's going to be a busy day. So yesterday we started working on the brand board. And due to the lack of a welder, I didn't get very, very far. I do, however, plan on getting very far today. And not only with the brat board, but with the tool bench, or the workbench, whatever you want to call this thing. I built it yesterday. It's actually pretty sturdy. That's not working as well as I wanted it to. Now I gotta reevaluate. Now, yesterday I told you guys that I was going to make this workbench better. Roll the clip. And I have an idea to make that thing a little better, but that'll have to wait for another day. I wanna get into this brat board. So since I'm 6'1 or 6'2, however tall I am, this is a very, very good work height for me. I understand it's not built, it's bought, but we're about to change that. We bought it, now it's time to build it. Let the mayhem, I mean construction, begin. Bam, just like that, it's done. Well, not completely done, but it's, it's done enough for, for right now. I don't have a certain tool to finish the job right now, but it is good enough to put the brat board on, start working on the brat board. Me, myself, I take pride in customizing stuff. I mean, I'd rather build than buy, and when I do buy, I wanna build on top of that. That's what being a machine is all about. We customize things to our preferences, whether that's a toolbox, whether that's a bicycle, whether that's a dirt bike, whether that's a brat board. We want these things to fill our needs. Without any customization, you're just rocking what everybody else is rocking. Machines don't rock that way. All I'm thinking about right now is when the guy asked me if I wanted to buy the warranty, I told him no. Just like everything else, it's gotta look disgusting before it looks pretty. Aw, it's unplugged. You rascal. This thing kind of reminds me of my ex-girlfriend. It's dirty and it's a huge pain in the ass. I'm running into something that I never designed to be able to take back apart. I take that back, I can take it off. <laughs> I'm sorry about the ex-girlfriend thing, sorry. sorry. Trim off some fat. Machines take risks, and sometimes those risks uh, turn into uh, sloppy situations. And dangerous situations. Be careful with power tools, kids. I'm gonna set this on the ground. I blew my grinder up but it still works, so uh, I'm gonna keep running it. And since I'm throwing sparks at you, it makes sense to show you what's going on. So there's supposed to be a little, little pin in this grinder that uh, stops the blade so you can take the blade out and off, and that's broken, it's completely gone. 
and also the position I was in. I was throwing sparks at my machines. I can't be throwing sparks at my machines. I can throw sparks at the haters, but not the machines. I'm going to turn you off and continue to grind. Metaphorically and physically. You see, I want to build a workbench right here so that I can actually work on stuff at my level instead of on the ground. It's, it's more time consuming when it's on the ground and unfortunately it takes time to build things. I mean, we're building a brat board right now, but it, it takes time to build the unfun things so that you can build the fun things. Does that make sense? You gotta put in the grind before you have the fun, but you always want to have the fun while you're grinding. That's how you beat the system. That's how the machines beat the system. Really wish I had a workbench over here. It's gonna have a weldable little section here so I can just go boom! And then weld the breadboard. Or the Ford Racing Mower. Or, or broken dirt bike parts. Or... No, this goes on and on. Unfortunately, I'm good at breaking stuff. Really, really good. Unfortunately, very good at breaking stuff. I had no idea how much work actually was going to be involved of rebuilding this thing. I mean, it took a couple weeks to build. So it's not surprising that it might take two or three days to rebuild. Professionally though, good quality so that people can ride it. Now let me try to explain, and I, and I get excited sometimes, and that's why I speak fast, so, so don't get too anxious if I start speaking quick. Basically, I don't have any brake cleaner, I don't have anything to clean this off, because I have, a, I have an exhaust leak. This is my disgusting exhaust. You know what I wanna do, I wanna paint this thing up to make it look nice, I've already ground about everything I can grind. Since I have a big grinder in such a small spot, it's hard to get every single place but it's hella better than it was. But I don't wanna stop just yet. I destroyed this thing. I wanna make it look a little better before the end of the day. It, it's getting to that point in time. It's getting to that point. I mean, I could use some brake cleaner to clean up this rim and make it look real pretty, but I'm all about progression. A lot of people are all about progression. So does it make sense that we're just not leaving it entirely? White walls. I screwed something up, we wouldn't be able to ride this thing anyways. I wanted to ride it today. I'm not gonna tell you what I did. You can, you can guess in the comment section below. I'll, t I'll tell you tomorrow, we'll see if you're right. Let's see if we have a psychic in the building. Since I'm not getting the brat board done tonight, I had to accomplish something today and the bench is accomplished. Here's our nice rim. Now me, I'm not much of a chrome person, but I do know a lot of chrome people. Nothing wrong with chrome people. There's nothing wrong with anybody. If you were put in their situation, you'd react, do the same things as everybody else does. Here's the final product. Well, so far. Yes, this thing is very sexy and it matches my Braptastic shirt that I'm wearing. But we can't stop the customization at the paint, no. No, no, I can't stop there. We have to make this machine. I have to put myself into this thing. So to set myself apart from all the Brat boards out there, which, which there aren't probably very many of them. But if this were a bicycle and everything else, not a lot of people have it. these. Dalton, what are these, black straws? No. They're spoke wraps, baby. See, I got some black going on in here in the sprocket and I have silver here, so I figured if I put black on the spokes, it would look extremely fly. So that's how I'm gonna customize my machine. Now that's a rim. Then I got a little bit of chrome showing. You like it? You li I dig it, I, I freaking dig the crap out of this. For those of you that don't know how these work, they're basically like straws, but they have a slit in them. You slide them up the spoke, you cut them to length, and then you get awesomeness like this. They have just about every color in the book. These are for like more like bicycles and brat boards and things like that. These ones are for actual dirt bikes. Yes, I will be customizing the KTM, the Honda, the Kawasaki, all my machines, because I'm finally realizing I have to stick out. That's what makes everybody original in life. And, and that's what being a machine's all about. I finally process this and, and understand that. But yes, like I said, both those links will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. It is late, like super late. It doesn't look late in here, but it is nine o'clock and it's, I'm supposed to be shutting it down at nine o'clock. So don't be afraid to smash that like button. Join me and become a machine today. Be different, stand out, turn heads. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, until tomorrow. Stay froggy fresh, see you later.